Mr. and Mrs. Charles are traveling on an unknown deserted road in the dark night. Mrs. Charles, who had fallen asleep on account of the long journey, woke up at once as soon as Mr. Charles applied the brakes and rubbing her eyes, she said, Charles, you gonna kill us someday? And why did you stop the car outside the woods? We will meet those here that we are looking for. After saying this, Mr. and Mrs. Charles started walking on that dark path in the woods. After walking a little distance, they saw a fire pit in which the fire was burning, but its flames were blue. Seeing which, Mrs. Charles was taken aback. Before both could understand anything, a familiar voice rang in their ears. If you have come after 18 years and 208 days, then you must be in a big and difficult situation, my friend. As soon as both of them looked back, there was no other than the Petist behind them, who had smeared his whole body with ashes. Mr. Charles, whose face was happy to see the Pietist, and said with a smile, Finally, time has once again brought me to your doorstep. Darling, before meeting you, this is my old bestie, and used to often help me in solving haunted cases. But Charles, he is somewhat older than you. There is definitely a difference in age, but the courage to fight against evil and dark forces is exactly the same. So where is that little girl? You and yours time traveling technique always leaves me amazed. Well, that baby girl imprisoned in a bottle is safe in our car. There is not much time. Come, follow me. Soon we have to solve this mystery. As soon as he said this, the Charles couple started walking on the woods path behind the priest and came close to a huge fire pit. Pietist holds Mrs. Charles's hand and mumbles a mantra and says meditatively, Chant this mantra with me three times and then meditate. All the answers will be found in the past. Hallelujah. Pietist recites mantras by chanting Jesus Christ. And Charles Couple also repeat those mantras back and forth. While repeating the mantra, the Charles Couple and Pietist reached the same place from where this started. At the construction site where work was going on, one side, a little girl was playing with the children of the laborers on the other side. The girl was known other than Lily. After playing for the whole day, when Lily's father called her back to the camp, Lily insisted on playing for some more time. But after being scolded by her father, she went inside feeling disappointed and emotional. Lily was definitely eating when her father fed her but her mind was still eager to play. Due to her stubbornness, she came out of the tent late at night and went to the under construction parking lot to play with her doll secretly. Lily could not see anything in this darkness, yet she kept on moving inside where the sounds of insects and owls were making the atmosphere more eerie. Suddenly while walking, Lily fell into a pit where the work of making basement lift was going on and Lily started thrashing like a fish that has been thrown out of water. I have fallen. Someone help me. Is there anyone? I am scared here. Lily was still shouting for help when she heard someone's footsteps. A small smile appeared on Lily's nervous face as if 
She had seen a light in the darkness. Lily tried her best, shouted loudly. I am here, this way, in this pit. But Lily did not even know that the one she was calling for help was actually the angel of death. Lily was looking upwards in the dark with the hope that maybe some helping hand would pull her out. But what actually happened would make any person's soul tremble. Someone had started pouring wet cement into the pit from above. Lily, who was already scared of the dark, started crying even more because of the fear of falling into the cement. She pleaded for help in every possible way. However, Lily's screams were buried under the layer of cement and the culprit of this shameful incident was known other than Miss Amelia. Yes, it was the same woman who was Alina's strange neighbor. Miss Amelia was about to go back after completing her shameful work when the civil engineer of the building, Freddy, suddenly appeared in front of her. Your hands didn't tremble while killing a girl like this. What to do, Freddy? It is dirty, but it is business. And you know that our business empire has spread so much because of making such small sacrifices. Don't know how many such girls you have sacrificed in the last seven years. Have some fear of God, Miss Amelia. And now we should stop all this. The God whose name you are taking, did he save your wife from cancer? And what you were saying at that night, I would go to any extent to earn money. So what happened now? The limit is over. Freddy had no answer to Amelia's questions and stood there with his head bowed in shame. Amelia said while rubbing his hand. Freddy, remember, here things go my way. And if you don't I say, then I won't mind killing you at all. Now just cut off both her fingers as you go. Very cleanly and no mess, please. Good night, Freddy. Freddy gets emotional and cries as soon as Amelia leaves. And due to compulsion, he cuts off Lily's remaining fingers, tied them in his handkerchief, and took them with him. Mr. and Mrs. Charles comes out of meditation and calms the fast breathing, then says to Priest, I can't believe that there are such rascals in this world who are ready to sacrifice the life of an innocent person for their greed. And I was already doubting that Freddy. No, Charles, if he was wrong, then he would never have sent Alina to us. And if he had sent Alina to us, it was only to help Lily. But why? The answer to this why will also be found in the same parking lot before Freddy's death. The truth has to be inert from that very place itself. But this time, only I will go. Pietis chanted such a mantra that he became invisible from the woods and reached the same parking lot a few days before Freddy's death. Freddy, who often used to lower his eyes in front of Amelia, today he was angrily looking at her, as if he would kill her with his eyes. Stop, Amelia. You have had enough. How long will you keep using that girl for your purpose? Now at least free her. Freddy, what are you saying? I do not understand anything. Who do you think is stupid? What do you think? I don't know. How you play with Lily's soul and leave her after a prey. 
unknowingly how much bloodshed you made from that innocent kid. And she does not even know. Before Freddy could finish his words, Freddy started suffocating as soon as Amelia clenched her fist and he fell on his knees. Amelia angrily spits on him. Loyalty is good only for dogs, not for traitors like you. Well, punishment has to be given. Amelia mumbled a mantra with her eyes closed and as soon as she finished her mantra, Lily appeared in front of her and started floating in the air. Lily, from now on, this uncle will play with you. And if he refuses, then you know. From that day onwards, the shadow of death started hovering over Freddy's life. Wherever Freddy went, whether it was the neighborhood shop or a walk in the park, Lily's shadow followed him and always insisted on only one thing to play with her. Being a hard patient, Freddy often used to see Lily in front of him and his mental balance and blood pressure started fluctuating. Freddy knew very well that his death was near. So he hid Lily's severed fingers in Alina's parcel after his death and then suggested calling Mr. and Mrs. Charles. Pietist, who had been watching all this unfold like a spectator, suddenly felt uneasy and weak. When he turned around, he saw a black branch clutching him like an octopus clinging to its prey. He closed his eyes due to a bright light. And when he opened his eyes, it was Amelia whose eyes were now red and her nails were sharp and long like that of a witch scratching his chest with her nails and she said what did you think pietist you have seen all this with all your power i have shown you all this and now tell your friends that they have 12 hours if i don't get lily within 12 hours Alina's body will be found at your doorstep. Your time starts now. As soon as Pietist's penance was dissolved, he came back to the same fire pit. But the marks of that nail were still there on his chest and a strange fear in his eyes. Pietist had never seen anyone like this before today. Are you okay? Tell my friend, what did you see there? Our death. What do you guys think? Will this witch kill the pietist? Or will these three be able to destroy her? Do tell by commenting and wait for our next part.